Man, Kawhi Leonard, the only two words you need to say for about the whole night. He came up big when it mattered most. 45 points in a in a closeout game. You know, that's huge. That is huge. He came up big when his team did not even look like they should have been in it. Wow. Paul George didn't have a great night. Um, he got it going in the fourth, though. He scored a, few, he scored a couple baskets in the fourth down the stretch. But Kawhi Leonard got it done. It just seemed like he couldn't miss. Three after three after three, midi after midi after midi, just everything falling. Um, Luka had 29, but that was not one of his better performances. Iron Man, he was six. He, 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 he um, definitely did not. He had a few garbage points. He had a few. Um, but yeah, um, he didn't hit a three until the fourth, and that's not Luka like. He usually is, with that step back three is deadly. He usually hits that consistently. And Luka just, I don't know. That just wasn't a Luca esque per performance, and um, but yeah, I mean Dorian Finney Smith, Tim Hardaway Jr. Let's talk about Tim Hardaway Jr. He's the guy who should be making Dennis Schroeder money. That's that's what Dennis Schroeder thinks he is, but nah, De Tim Hardaway Jr. He was the leading scorer up, uh, up until the last few minutes, um, couple minutes. Um, he had twenty three tonight, I think. Um, it's crazy. Um, um, that's pretty good for, for Tim Hardaway Jr. But yeah, watching that game, I was just like, down the stretch, Reggie Jackson played great. And then I see him down the stretch have a couple of turnovers, like three or four, two, three, four fouls, I don't know, um, down there. Um, but yeah, I don't know, um, I just, like, I enjoyed this game, I, I enjoyed watching Kawhi Leonard have his LeBron game six moment against it, like when LeBron did against the Celtics. He is one of the four players in history to have um, 45 points on 70 plus percent shooting, um, which is crazy if you're shooting 70 percent and you have 40 um, and you have 45 points. It's crazy good. Um, but yeah, I mean, the the. The uh, Mavericks had no stop for it. I don't know why they didn't. They I didn't see him really try and double him. To be real, if I'm being real, I don't think I saw him try and double Kawhi Leonard. Um, I saw him try and do it once, but it just didn't get, do good. They just went right back to ISO. But I think it's just because the Clippers have a you know. A, I mean, obviously they have a Paul George, and they had a Reggie Reggie Jackson was cooking tonight, so that's probably why. And I'm just not realizing it, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I would rather have somebody else beat me other than a guy who can hit the shot. I would, I would much rather have playoff P. No, nah, he doesn't deserve well, Playoff P, you know, have be able to take that shot than Kawhi on a night that Paul George hasn't be, been himself, you know. Um, But, yeah, um, I don't know, man. It just seemed Luca said Kawhi destroyed them, you know. And um, on the game seven on Sunday at four thirty, I mean at twelve thirty, not four thirty, twelve thirty, three thirty Eastern time, twelve thirty Pacific. Um, yeah, that's an early game. Um, we got game one of the Nets Celtics tomorrow at four thirty. I'm really excited for that game to watch that. Um, that's the series I'm looking forward to. Um, we should have a predictions video. When I, where I predict this ish, um, I probably should predict Game Seven right now, and I will do that. Who am I rooting for? I'm rooting for the Mavericks, but I think the Clippers are gonna get it done. I think the Clippers are gonna win this Game Seven. Go on to play Utah on. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Tuesday. They're not gonna give them back to back, so they're probably gonna get a day's rest, and then they gotta travel to Utah. Yeah, they had to travel three times in three days, I guess. But uh, that's, what you, that's what happens when you have... Please. But yeah, I, I think that the, the um, that the Clippers are going to get it done. And um, I think that Kawhi, you know, he's going to prove why he's the king of LA, right? <laughs>
This is what he came to LA for. You gotta prove it. Prove it now. This is your chance. To prove it, prove it, win this, win this series, win the Utah series, and win uh, the Western Conference Finals against the Suns Nuggets, whoever's in that Western Conference Finals, and go to the finals and play, you know, most likely, it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be Atlanta, that's all, I mean, I think it's going to be Philly, you know, obviously Philly, um, Milwaukee, and um, the Nets, so, yeah, I, I just, I'm, Go on, go on, Kawhi. Prove why you're the king of L.A., why you came here to take over L.A., you know, prove it. This is your chance. This is the best chance you'll have, you know, go prove it. There's no LeBron. You're going to have to get through um, the East. Whoever comes out the East is going to be a tough matchup. Um, So we'll see. I mean, uh, yeah, let's get, let's get it, man. I'm excited to watch the rest of these playoffs, watch the rest of these series. So let's Let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. prove it, Kawhi, man. That's all I gotta say. That's all you gotta say. This video, prove it. Prove why the why you said why you had the the king on on the keychain. You know, prove it. Prove it. Why this is your city? Why this is your city? You know what's crazy? A majority of people are not a majority, but there's a lot of Laker fans that go to Clippers games, man. I swear. Richard Jefferson um said that there was when he went or no no it was this other guy but it was one of them uh who saw like a bunch of Lakers jerseys in the arena when the Clippers were playing um their playoff games so I mean yeah there's just a lot, the Lakers the, it's a Laker town it'll forever be a Laker town no matter what no matter doesn't matter if the Clippers win the chip this year. Um, it doesn't matter, but yeah, it sucks because, um, Staples is going to full capacity, I think, um, let me think, let me, they're going to full capacity June 15th, I mean, that's two weeks, that's, that's middle second round, um, so yeah, I mean, like, yeah, um, so yeah, they'll probably be back, maybe, just saying, if the Clippers win this series, they'll be back in the, probably their second home game. Their game four or something like that against uh, Utah. So we'll see if the Clippers can, you know, get that get it done, or if the Mavericks, the young Luka Doncic, will win his first playoff series. We'll see. I mean, he had to play the Clippers both times last year. Kristaps got hurt. That's when I thought Kristaps was a, was a, a great second option, but I have different opinions now. So let's get it, man. I'm excited. Game seven on Sunday. Game one for Bucks Nets series tomorrow, which I'm so excited for. Yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Actually, one more thing before I close out this video. Kawhi Leonard, he looked, he looked like, um, he looked like, I haven't seen him look like this in two years. Like, this great. Like, Toronto, you know, San Antonio, Kawhi. I haven't seen him look this great in that ever. This is the first time I've seen him in a Clippers jersey, you know, look like that, like, like that dude. This is the first time I see him play, like, a top three player in the NBA, you know. But, yeah, let's get it. Game seven. Peace, guys.